happy um ship <laughs> it's tuesday i know no i was just thinking i know i made a video yesterday i don't know if i uploaded it or not i think i did i'm pretty sure i did if i didn't i apologize i'll go back and look in a minute i i, I don't know i don't know whether i'm coming or going anymore i have been dealing with some other big changes in my life like just some personal family stuff that I'm, I'm not gonna get into here but um it just seems like everything in my life right now is just upside down everything I just have like major shit in my life that is changing just out of nowhere and I, I swanny I can't take anything else I, I'm about half crazy at this point another thing I've been working on and I'm surrounded by papers well I can't show you my papers because it has addresses and personal information on it but I'm surrounded by papers and things down here on the floor I have um all the postcards and everything. I didn't even know if we were going to be able to do our family reunion this year. I wasn't sure. And quite frankly, with everything going on, I forgot about it for a while. And then I remembered and I thought like, I don't even care. I have a bunch of other stuff going on. I do not have time to deal with that right now. But then I got myself together and I thought, Mary, that reunion is not just about you. You know, you may be busy, but you need to find time to go ahead and get everything done for this reunion and see if we can have it. See, where we used to have it, that relative passed away, and I had to get together, I had to talk to his kids to find out if we could use the space. They had said back in November that, you know, more than likely, yes, but to follow up with them in a few months just to be sure. So I had a hard time getting in touch with them. I finally did. Um, I got in touch with one, and then I had to get in touch, and she said, we'll talk to my brother, so I had to get in touch with him. And we've just been going back and forth. Well, I finally got confirmation that we can do it. So I have a date that we're going to do it. And I'm going to go down the weekend before and try to get everything ready. Um, I'm going to have to get like, oh my gosh, plates, cups, napkins, forks and spoons. I mean, we normally have about anywhere from 80 to 120 people show up to this thing. So I've had people say, why don't you just use your own dishes? Why do you buy plastic? I don't have enough dishes for 80 to 120 people. And so, yes, we use disposable stuff. I'm sorry. If I go to hell for it, so be it. The devil can, like, beat me with a licorice whip. I don't know. But, yeah, it's a lot. It's not like some little tiny get-together. It's it's usually a lot of people that show up. So I was thinking, Mary, this is not about you, you know, climb down out of your own butt and go ahead and get ready for this thing. So we finally have a date. So I'm having to sit down. I have a big stack of postcards here because I have a mailing list of all family members. Some of them I, I send it out by email to some people. Um, other people I have a mailing address. Um, and I realized just a minute ago I don't have enough postcards. I'm about 22 postcards short. So I'm going to have to print up something and just stick it in an envelope and just mail it. I gotta have more postcards made. It's expensive to get postcards made. If anybody knows of a place, I went to, where are these from? These are from Zazzle, Z-A-Z-Z-L-E. I had these made a couple of years ago. They were the cheapest ones I could find at the time. They're just very simple. I don't have elaborate stuff on them, but I had 220 postcards printed up and, uh, it was like $130 to get 220 postcards. It was just like, yikes. And then I have to put postage on all of them. I have to, you know, fill them out. And my stars, it's just, it's it's a lot. So it's going to take me a while to get all these ready. And then I got to go get postage. I got to get them in the mail. Um, the reunion is going to be next month. So I have a little bit of time, but I wanted to go ahead and get them out in the mail. Um, I have notified people by email and Facebook. So as soon as I had the date, you know, confirmed, I wanted to go ahead and get that information out there. So I did that. It's funny. I, I'm not naming names, but I do have this one person who comes to the reunion. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so this person contacts me usually in about mid-February and says, Hey, uh, when's the reunion this year? And for years, we always did it the second Sunday in June. And I would, and we don't anymore. We we actually pick. There's a, we do it at a different time now. We don't even do it in June anymore. But I would say, you know, it's like every other year. It's the second Sunday in June. And about half the time, this person would come back and go, "Oh, I can't make it that weekend. I'm doing big important stuff. Look, can you reschedule it for the weekend after, or maybe two weekends after? Because I'm free then, but I can't possibly make it because I'm doing big big stuff." 
So if you could do that, like, no, I'm not, no, I'm not rescheduling it. It is when it is, um, you know, and every year we would have the same conversation. Some people can make it. Some people can't. Everybody's not going to be able to make it every year. You know, I understand that. I cannot reschedule this event for any one person. It is when it is. You know, we don't schedule it around one person's weekend events. Oh, but I'm not going to be able to make it if you do it that day. Like, oh, oh, darn. Well, I'm sorry, honey. We'll just see you next year maybe then. Well, if you'd reschedule it, I could come. I'm not rescheduling it. Every damn year I would go through this. But about half the time they would go, oh, good. I can make it that weekend. Like, yay. Wonderful. I'm not going to reschedule it whether you can make it or not. So, I actually didn't hear from them this year. Come to think of it, no, I didn't. I didn't have that conversation this year. And I think that conversation most years is what spurs me into getting ready for it. Like, oh, okay, fine. Let me go ahead and get the, the, the addresses printed out. And yeah, I guess I better get on that. And usually by the beginning of April, I'm sending stuff out, but I'm, I'm running a little bit behind. Not too far behind. I'm, I'm actually doing okay. So I'm doing that and we're going to go down with whatever combination of children I can round up that day. My older son will probably be working, but we're going to go down the weekend before and do some preparation, cleaning up and, you know, getting everything ready. And then we'll get there early the day of the reunion and get everything set up um, and get everything ready to go. Whew. So I was able today to officially apply for that job that I was telling you about. Um, I'm, I'm nervous. They have to officially post the job, you know, so other people can apply to it and whatnot. I'm really hoping to hear from them soon. I did the official application and uploaded my resume again. And, you know, I did all the things. So hopefully, and from reading the description of this job, it looks really interesting. It's not what I've been doing. It's going to be something kind of different. And I'm really looking forward to trying it out. So... I did officially apply for it this morning, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, hopefully, I'll hear something soon. My ad revenue continues to drop. I noticed that this morning. I checked my analytics. Even putting out twice the amount of content, I'm now making probably 75% less than I was a month ago. It, continue, it, st it drops pretty much every day. It just keeps falling and falling and falling. I still haven't heard from Google. Uh, YouTube, nobody, I haven't heard from anyone. Um, I'm not aware of anything I'm doing wrong. I don't, they, well, they said I have invalid traffic on my channel and I haven't seen it. I've checked my an analytics and I've looked at the traffic sources and everything. I'm not seeing it. I don't, I don't know where they're, I don't know where they're getting that from. What, what invalid traffic? I don't see, I don't see any. And that's why I just want to talk to them and find out what, where, where, where's this invalid traffic that you're accusing me of and keeping my money for? I don't see it. It's very frustrating. But I tell you, I'm really glad I went ahead and started looking for a full-time job. That was, that was the right, that was the right thing to do, definitely. Because it's, it's obvious. I mean, unless something drastic changes, I'm not going to be able to depend on YouTube for any money at all. I mean, I think eventually it's just going to dwindle to nothing. Which, I mean, I'll keep making videos. It's just kind of sad. It's just kind of a shame. Like, you don't... I think they've kind of forgotten what made them what they are. These, these, you know, preferred creators that they promote. I'm sure they're fine, but I don't think the average person comes here for them. I think they come here for goobers like me, you know. That's what made YouTube what it is, and I think they've lost sight of that, and I think they're going to regret it. I think eventually, financially, they're going to feel it. I could be wrong. It may not matter. They may be like eBay. You know, years ago, eBay decided they weren't going to worry about small sellers. They were going to focus on the big sellers and, you know, to hell with the small ones. We don't care about y'all. And they have marched on just fine, as far as I can tell. They've been trying to squeeze out small sellers for the last 10 years at least. I'm still there. I still sell stuff on there. It it helps bring in a few extra dollars a month. And it's kind of fun going out and finding things to sell. It's kind of interesting to see what you can sell and what you can find. And I kind of enjoy it. It's it's educational too. I've learned a lot about different 
different things like things that sell things that don't what's worth your time and what's not and you never know what you're going to find so I'm always in there looking stuff up to see if it's you know what is this and can I sell it <laughs> so I've been doing it for over 20 years and I'm, I'm probably going to keep doing it so but I need to get back to work it is 9 30 tomorrow I have an appointment tomorrow and then I, I have to get out and mow the front yard tomorrow after the appointment hopefully I'll get my videos done early in the morning I'm trying to get them done early in the morning so if they have to be edited I have time to edit them and all that and get other stuff done during the day I'm trying to get everything done that I can before I go back to working full-time <laughs> so I don't have to say well actually next week I have an appointment so and then after that I have another appointment and my kids have a dentist appointment on Thursday so that'll be fun. I have to go sign them out early because it's at a goofy time. It's at like 3 o'clock. So I have to pick them up early. So anyway, it is it is Tuesday. It is Tuesday. My foot still hurts from the class I went to yesterday, early morning yesterday. And the class I went to today was kind of hard on it too. And then tomorrow I'm going to get out and mow. But I, I do find with my new mower, it's self-propelled. My foot doesn't hurt anywhere near as much after mowing with this new mower. I think it's a lot easier on my foot, so that's good. But I'm sorry this is so short. It's very uneventful. Nothing exciting happened today. Not that I know of, anyway. It's been pretty quiet, but I'm hanging in there. Uh, the whole YouTube thing is very disappointing. But I've always said, you know, I, I, I would do this for free. And I may ultimately end up doing it for free if they keep taking all of my money away. Um, if they just decide not to pay me, I'll just demonetize everything. I will just demonetize all of it. Like, if I can't have any ad revenue, neither can y'all. Of course, they'll still put ads in the videos. Even if they're demonetized, they still put ads in the videos. Um, but it's just, it's sad. It's, it's, I was thinking about it today. It's like the end of an era, really. I mean, I have so enjoyed being able to just work part-time and make videos, which I really enjoy and have enough, you know, to live on, make enough from the ad revenue to, to get by and do even do some stuff around here that needed to be done. And it was really great. It was really great while it lasted. I will always be grateful for it. And I hate to see it end, but I think I think it's I think it's gonna end but I'll still make videos I will I'm not gonna stop unless I just get tired of it or whatever but I don't see that happening unless something weird changes but I just won't do it as much so because I'm gonna have to work and you know I'm just not gonna have the time or the energy to do it like I do now so it's just very sad. I just, I feel like I'm mourning the, like I've lost a dear friend or something. I don't know. It's kind of sad. I just, I enjoyed it. I really did. And I'm going to keep doing it. And I still enjoy it. But I won't have the energy or the time to do it as much as I have been. That just kind of sucks. So, but it's good. I was able to officially apply for the job. Read all of the details about it. It looks good. So hopefully I'll hear something from them soon. Now I just have to wait. And in the meantime, I'll just keep making two videos a day and that will just be my full-time job for now. Even though the money just goes down and down and down and down. The views and everything are great. The views are great. The subscriber rate is, everything is great. But the money just keeps going down anyway. Like it doesn't matter. It's just, it's just sad. It sucks. But happy Tuesday. Yay! No, it's fine. It's going to be fine. I'm a little nervous about the whole job thing. I'm, I, but I'm excited. Like, I'm eager to try something new. And I really hope, I really hope I get this job. I'm looking forward to it. Especially after reading all the details of what, what I would be doing. It sounds like a, a really good job for me. It sounds like a good challenge. And I really hope I get it. But I will let you know as soon as I hear anything. But thank you so much for watching and for being here and happy Tuesday and I will see you again soon.